Welcome back everyone. On deck today we have something a little bit different. We have a penetration test. What we're going to be testing out here is this uh, high speed non-stick pan that now sticks. So it's a piece of junk. We were going to throw it away, my wife and I, but I decided why not go green, recycle it, get some use out of it. So what we're going to do is we're going to test a bunch of different handgun rounds and see how they penetrate this stuff. Pretty hard stuff. Yeah, but uh, I'm guessing a lot of rounds will go through it, but some might not. Anyway, that's what's up today uh, in this video. First up, we're going to be testing out some Glad 22 ammo there. You guys can get a look at it, see what it does here. All these uh, shots are going to be fired at a distance of 10 feet. Here's a closer look at it. You can see that 22 did not penetrate the pan. It made a dent in it, but it did not penetrate. Up next we got some 32 ACP, some corrosive Turkish surplus that we got here. We're going to be firing it from the uh, CZ-70. Again, same distance, see what it does. As you can see the round impacted right here, it did not penetrate as well. That's uh, 32 ACP, kind of expected that. We'll step it up next to some 380. The round we're going to be using for the 380 test is going to be the gold dot. It's actually my carry load when I do carry the 380 occasionally. We're going to be firing out of the Bodyguard 380. Very common pocket gun. Here's the impact area of that 380 round, the gold dot. You can actually see the uh, jacket of the bullet imprinted on there, but no penetration. Up next, I'm going to try that one again with a uh, FMJ load because 380 is a very controversial round as we all know. So I'm going to try it with a full metal jacket load, which is what a lot of guys say you need to carry. So we'll try that out up next. <laughs> Just using some Mottec full metal jacket 380 here. Same gun. Let's check it out. Here's the impact of that last 380 round as you see. Still no penetration. The 9mm load we're going to test out is just some Remington 115 grain jacketed hollow points. Certainly not the highest quality defensive ammo, but the reality is in America, since this stuff is available and cheap at Walmart, a lot of people use it. So I've tested it in the past, but in, in the gel, but we're going to go ahead and test it on this pan. See how it does. Looks like we had some penetration there. We'll take a look at it next. I apologize, I forgot to turn on the second camera for that one, but as you guys can see there, that 9mm cut right through it, and there is the exit hole. So, like I've mentioned before in armor testing here on the channel, speed is what kills armor, which makes sense. If you actually look at this one right now, try to get it in the sun so you guys can see it, that 22 did as much damage, if not more, than uh, those other larger calibers due to the speed that it's traveling at, but we'll step it up to 40 cal next. 40 caliber bullet we're going to be using is the 165 grain full metal jacket. Uh, Remington load out of the Glock 24. Many of you guys know that the 40 cal is well known for its penetration of intermediate barriers, like a pan or a car door, for instance. You guys can see there, it cut right through that without issue. So, no surprise there. Last one up will be the 45. The 45 round that we're going to be using is 230 grain Wolf full metal jacket ammo. We're going to be firing it out of the uh, four and one quarter inch uh, Smith & Wesson 1911 SC. We'll go low for this one. Well, the 45 round impacted right there. And you can see it did not pass through, even though it was a uh, full metal jacket wolf stuff. And the wolf, as we all know, is a very hard, dense bullet. So I'm going to actually shoot that one again the 45 and see if uh, that's a repeatable result. Well, sure enough, both 45 rounds did not penetrate the pan. Now you will notice here on the back side that there is a good bit of deformation with those 45 rounds, but no penetration. So once again, showing that speed kills and uh, that 165 grain 40 caliber and the nine millimeter over here, uh, just demonstrating why they're known for their penetrating capabilities of intermediate barriers. Obviously guys, 
this test is just kind of like a fun joke and you really don't need to take anything from it. But the only thing I guess you could say that you really could take from it is intermediate barriers. You know, a lot of guys will uh, stand behind things like, uh, like a cabinet in their house and take shots or a car door. I remember when I went to the police academy many, many moons ago, they actually taught us to stand behind the, the, closed, the open door of your car to take uh, cover, as they called it. And obviously that's not cover, but that, that's what they trained us to do. I mean, I remember it. So just be aware of uh, what you're shooting at, what your capabilities of your rounds are. Go ahead and test them if you want. Obviously the medium is not always going to be the same as a frying pan, but maybe you get something out of this, maybe you didn't. But if nothing else, it's always fun to shoot stuff and recycle. So. If you guys have any questions about this, just go ahead and let me know. But thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Hope to see you guys in the next video.